You probably heard, but many people in the outside world call me a mad scientist. It's true, but only insofar as this planet itself is mad. I was consumed, obsessed with a desire to see the moment of death for this cruel, savage world. I was nothing more than another doomsday manga, and didn't even know it. In the ten years since both our sons grew up and left home, I've never known nothing else. My obsession cost me every cent of the profits earned from refining an indigenous lichen. Then, finally, my hard work and devotion produced tangible results. It was two years ago, while studying eclipses and old sundials, that I realized the truth about Stonehenge. By mapping the light and shadow patterns of Stonehenge, then computing them against the position of the stars, I came into the conclusion that Stonehenge had been used to predict solar eclipses. And as I made further progress, I finally discovered that Stonehenge was actually created to predict a specific day. The final day of all days. The end of everything. This discovery shook me to the very core. For 30 years, I had waited for the apocalypse. And with that knowledge within my grasp, my mind recoiled in horror. Earth was about to die. Along with everything in it, was this what my heart truly desired? I christened the day, the Great Eclipse, and tried to, to pinpoint the exact time of its occurrence. By then I, I had changed my mind. I wanted to save this world, and needed to know when the end would come and how it would occur. Unfortunately, it took more than a year and a half for the computer to calculate the answer. It was only three days ago that I learned that the Great Eclipse would fall on December 25th in the year 2000, on Christmas Day. But who would listen to the ravings of a madman? I sent for my older son, a special agent with the FBI, but apparently he could not make it in time. Who would have guessed such a thing? A shower of meteorites touching off a pandemic of mutations. People turning into plant-like monstrosities. We are being consumed. The entire planet is being cannibalized. The great unknown has always been with us throughout our time on this planet. Let alone in the far reaches of space. This day was deduced and recorded in stone ar around the dawn of history. But we of the modern age choose to remain ignorant. For all our great learning, all we can hope to understand is how much we do not know. By limiting our concerns to those of humanity alone, we have lost sight of the stars. We have no memory of our beginnings and will perish unaware in the end. All we could do was briefly glimpse into the castle of time. I have a favor to ask of you, stranger. Would you please commit us and everything here to flames and ashes? Destroy all traces of my work. There is nothing more I can do, absolutely nothing. What good will a warning be to a new civilization that is sure to evolve in tens of millions of years? What little humanity I had left was taken, but by those creatures. At least allow me the dignity to choose my own end. Please, break the glass by your side and get the flamethrower. You must put an end to all you see here.